Hi everyone. Um, so as I said, it's getting hard for me to make these videos, but what I've decided to do is just to do as much as I can when I can. Um, normally I would set myself a day, which was normally Sunday and upload so everyone can follow along with the story, but I can't do that anymore because it really is too hard. Um, going over what happened to me has made me see things in a, in a different light and it's not good. I mean, most people say that in hindsight, you can look back and say, oh, well, things weren't really that bad. But when I look back at what happened to me, I say, well, yeah, actually it was, um, so I'm just starting off with this shot I've got here and I've taken some really good shots throughout the series and obviously I've tried to show as much evidence as I can and um, I've taken some really bad shots too. And I can't always do things on camera and I can't always make um, good portraits for everyone to see. So this is from, from last week or the even the week before I really can't remember but I'm I'm just using this shot so I hope I hope everyone um likes that but we are up to part 51 now and getting through part 50 was pretty hard because obviously that was a milestone and that milestone told me that I had been taking ages to tell you all what happened to me and as I said to you before I don't think that's good enough. I want to finish this as quickly as possible. But um, I'll just keep going with, um, with what we've got for today. So now we're up to the 13th of the 2nd, 2017. And on this day, I received a letter which was a response from Police Command regarding a complaint that I had made about police duty failure in regard to the intervention order that I had against the respondent. The letter states that the actions of the police were appropriate and although I accept that I don't know the rules under which the police are operating, I do know how the failure of the police to assist in my case affected me. Obviously, I'm, and you know, once again, I just wanted to reiterate, I'm telling you what happened to me and the way it affected me. I, I'm don't, I don't claim to know the ins and outs of the workings of the police force or of police command or anything like that. And, you know, bear in mind, this is my beliefs and my opinions. And I'm also not claiming that this has been proved in court. But I will also um, repeat that my feelings are valid you know, um, and the effects of what, what happened to me are ongoing. So we'll just get stuck into it. Um, I also wanted to emphasize that this wasn't the first complaint that I'd made and it wasn't the first response that I had received from police command. As I've shown you, I've made a few complaints against the police. So the staff at police command should have picked up on that. Someone at police command should have noticed that I kept making complaints and recognized that these complaints were all relating to duty failure and recognized that I had an intervention order against the respondent and that I was in danger. I believe that the pattern of complaints that I made should have warranted a more thorough investigation. It would have helped if someone from police command had replied to me and asked me if I was safe. Maybe someone from police command could have deduced that many complaints add up to a bigger problem. It wasn't just a series of smaller problems. I believe the consistency of my complaint shows something very wrong going on at Northcote Police Station, at least in regards to how they were dealing with me. And given the devastating effects that police duty failure had on my application for compensation, on my life, on my relationships, and on my finances, 
I think that I have a right to say that with confidence. But as you can see from this letter, no one from police command took any interest in my case. I was left to file another letter at home and I was left with the task of protecting myself and my daughter from the respondent and with the task of dealing with the hostility of the local police. I also knew that the police may try to take revenge against me because I had made a complaint against them. And that is a topic that I will talk more about in another series.